Step four, examine relationships between variables. Once you understand how each variable varies individually using the tools in the previous step, you can then look for relationships between variables. Three tools will be illustrated here. A table of summary statistics for a numeric variable broken down by categories of a categorical variable. Two, side-by-side -side box plots for seeing how the distribution of a numeric variable varies over categories of a categorical variable. And three, scatter plots of numeric variables versus other numeric variables. Again, StatTools performs all of these quickly and easily, so you have time to explore plenty of potential relationships. First, you might want to break down the salary summary statistics by gender. To do this in StatTools, you first need to understand the difference between stacked and unstacked formats. The data would be unstacked if there were two separate salary columns, one for males and one for females. However, this data set is stacked, meaning that there are two long variables, salary and gender. The male and female salaries are stacked into one salary column, and the gender column indicates the category of each. To get summary statistics of one variable broken down by category, in the one variable summary dialog box, click the format button and choose stacked. This creates two lists of checkboxes one for cat and one for val. Cat stands for categorical, val stands for value. Check gender for the categorical variable and salary for the val variable. Then click OK. The resulting summary statistics are shown here. For example, the means and the standard deviations indicate that male salaries are larger on average, 72 versus 59, and are more spread out than female salaries, 25,000 versus about 10,000. Second, you might want to compare the male and female salary distributions graphically. You can do this with histograms in Stat Tools, again using the stacked format option, but unless you change the bins for these two histograms, they will be on slightly different scales, which makes a comparison across gender more difficult. A better way to compare salaries across gender graphically is with side-by-side -side box whisker plots, commonly shortened to box plots. To create side-by-side -side box plots, select box whisker plot from the summary graphs drop-down list, select stacked as the format, and choose the cat and val variables as before, gender for cat, salary for val. Click OK. Here is the result. You can read more about box plots in StatTools Help, but this plot makes it clear that females tend to make smaller salaries than males. This box is over to the left of this box, and their salaries tend to have less variation than the male salaries. Female box is narrower than the male box. The red points are called outliers. Third, you might want to see whether there is a relationship between age and salary or between years of experience and salary. The best way to do this graphically is with scatter plots. To create one or more scatter plots, select scatter plot from the summary graphs drop-down list as shown in this dialog box. You can select any number of variables for the x-axis and any for the y-axis. For now, I will check salary as y and age and years as x. I can also click display correlation coefficients to see the correlations between these variables. Then click OK. Here are the two scatter plots. One of age versus salary, one of years versus salary. Both variables age and years are positively correlated with salary. The scatters go up to the right. But years is more strongly related to salary. You can see this from the tighter upward scatter in this plot and from the higher correlation shown at the bottom, 0.616 for years, 0.384 for age.
Of course, both of these make sense. The chances are that a given employee's salary will increase as he or she gets older and gains more experience. Now it's your turn. Perform the statistical analyses shown here. Summary statistics of salary broken down by gender, box plots of salary broken down by gender, and scatter plots of salary versus age and years. Of course, you can try a few more on your own if you like. By this time, you should be seeing that you can do a lot of analysis with StatTools very quickly.